And would you put something that's used to kill roaches inside your vagina? I would never use anything in my vagina that I can't put in my mouth. The yoni pearls are the bomb, they are the best. This has helped a lot of women get pregnant. Fertility issues are, are, can't just be fixed by just home remedies. Herbal tampons do have benefit. Sometimes patients are putting tampon with apple cider vinegar and yogurt and they're stuck there and they have them there for four or five days. We are certainly having that conversation today. I'm sure you can agree with me that there has been quite a movement as it relates to what is the best way to care for the vagina. There has been a great push for patients to find alternative therapies for ways to care for the vagina. I agree. I think that over the past two years, two to three years, there has been a boom when it comes to this whole reproductive and different products um, that are sold to make the reproductive system healthy. Last year, June, someone, a friend of mine who was doing the same business, um, introduced me to, you know, the yoni pearls, boric acid capsules, steam herbs and stuff like that. And she was saying, you need to try out these stuff, they're hot. So after, you know, researching the whole holistic method of the yoni pearls and how much it can help people with endometriosis, fibroids, cysts, picus, things like that. You know, I said, okay, then I'm going to start. We do things like womb massages, fertility massages, detox treatments. We have vaginal steams, we have yoni eggs. I have a baby maker combo, I have an infertility combo. Infertility is something, I would say, eight, 75 to 80% of my clients are also trying to get pregnant as well. I have about seven to ten yoni babies right now because this, ha this has helped a lot of women um, get pregnant. Well fertility is a very interesting thing. I've had um, fenugreek yogurt and all type of things being put in women's vaginas and having to remove them in the office. I, I would say to you nicely women, eat healthy, exercise, have a, a, a good rapport with your doctor in terms of getting rid of some of the common STDs. We find that fertility issues are, are, can't just be fixed by those home remedies, but can be complemented by it, I would say. Um, keeping your stress level low does add to our improving fertility. It's not like, oh, all right, someone wants to get pregnant or someone has um, PCOS, then just use the pearls one time and it's just a warm moment, they're gonna get pregnant overnight. No, it's not like that. For some, it takes longer than some because I, one of my first customers that actually told me that she had um, fertility problems, she got pregnant off of just her first use. You understand? And she actually um, had a son a couple of years ago, so she told me that she didn't know what happened. So she went to the doctor, the doctor said everything was fine and whatever. So I put her on the period regulator combo, which consists of the pearls, the capsules and the steam herbs. And then, because she was having a hormone imbalance, so after that, she told she texted me about two weeks after, and told me that um, she started the pearls. This was her results and whatever, whatever. So she was like the first customer that I kept following up with. Now, in terms of herbs, I mean, it really just depends on the woman. So if you have PCOS and you're coming to me about certain things, there are certain herbs that I'm going to recommend for you differently than I would with a woman with endometriosis. A lot of women have like blocked tubes or damaged tubes, so I would always recommend blue vervain. Uh, red raspberry, red raspberry is great for the uterus. It's like toning the uterus muscle, um, lining everything. We also have the womb tea, which is probably our most popular tea. Um, womb tea is great for the uterus and all of that because of course, it has red raspberry in it but it's also really great for the digestive system as well and the digestive system and the reproductive system just work really well together when they're both strong don't start off with herbal therapy go to your doctor find out why there's a fertility problem it could be that the male sperm count is low it could be that there is a blockage in your partner it doesn't have to be your problem but after having a complete diagnosis formed then you can may ask your doctor to complement your your current therapy that they're recommending with your herbal therapy now a popular discussion i saw happening is surrounds the use of the boric acid capsules i get text messages and whatsapp messages every day asking me how do i use the boric acid that i bought from a place 
I'm like, but you didn't buy it from me. Boric acid is something that your granny would use to kill roaches in a house. The powder is used for that use as well. And would you put something that you used to kill roaches inside your vagina? I would never use anything in my vagina that I can't put in my mouth. It's definitely in the medical field for using it to um, alleviate yeast infection. If you're having recurrent yeast infections, which just seems to be the common thing women jump to using it for, you may want to talk to your doctor about things such as having sensitive skin, common if you have breakouts, because it may be be that you have a hormone imbalance, it could be that you have very sensitive skin down there, and there are things that we can recommend and do apart from boric acid. But not even the food grade version of the boric acid I would personally use. I think it's doing too much to the lining of the vagina, the walls, the cells. There's just too much. There's way too much going on. I think women have gotten a little bit more experimental, curious somewhat, in terms of the type of products that we use to care for the vagina. Now, a popular thing is for patients to use various tea bags, um, pills, um, and all type of cookie washes to, <laughs> to bring a certain type of revivement to the vagina. I do believe that herbal tampons do have benefits, okay? And I personally would call them a herbal tampon just to separate them from the pearls in itself. Now with a herbal tampon, you have to have that customized for you. You do not want something generic. Every woman is different. Her pH is different, what she's going on. Those herbs can't be used. It's literally going in there, staying in there for three days, they say, to keep it in for three days. You have this string hanging out of you for three days. The yoni pearls are the bomb, they are the best. This has helped women reduce the size of their um, cysts. Um, this has helped people remove fibroids. There's a lot of reviews if you go on my page. It's, it's such a sacred part of your body that any woman now could just get up and want to push something in her vagina. She often know every single information about it. We do have the problem where patients come in with complications from these herbal supports. Sometimes these tea bags go missing, sometimes the, the capsules. capsules, sometimes patients are putting tampon with apple cider vinegar and yogurt and they're stuck there and they have them there for four or five days. In terms of putting something in your vagina for it to tighten, um, I think that at the end of the day, we want to do something that works all the time. I recommend vaginal toning exercises. And if you're concerned about your vaginal health, the look, the integrity of it, a um, couple of my colleagues, I think um, Dr. Daryl Daly has been doing very good work in that field. Um, Dr. Jeremy Spencer and Dr. Thea Nicole Davis. They're, they're one of the people I recommend to my patients who want to do O shot, who want to do vaginoplasty. And those, those, those new trending things that are coming out, they have been trained by people who are in the field and um, locally I, I do recommend them because they have good results. What I would say though is if you're looking for that type of oomph during sex, for sex, um, for yourself and your significant other, I would definitely suggest maybe steaming. It is safe to do, just don't get burned. Steam is hot, be very careful. Recommended by me and most of my peers, I'm not sure we support it entirely. Why? Um, it's not that it causes any harm or causes any better care for the vagina, but it won't resolve a yeast infection. It won't replace the need for a doctor in terms of treating you for BV. It can mask other things that may be sinister, such as early stage cervical cancer. It can also mask other problems that if not addressed by a doctor or done in conjunction with a doctor, that can be missed and be of great problems to a woman's health. You cannot use pipe water to steam. It's toxic. Don't use it. You also want to make sure that the bowl that you're steaming in is not plastic. You want to think about that as well. So make sure when you're steaming you are not putting more toxins in the body because then of course it is not going to be a beneficial thing for you now. Now it's going to be breaking down your body even more. So where do we stand now as it relates to the medical field and the holistic way? When it comes to the holistic world, a lot of times what happens is the doctors really don't have that much respect for it because of things like this where someone has just realized that, you know, if I buy boric acid and put it in capsules and sell it, people will buy it. No is against you guys going in the natural part of medicine which it does which which is a which is an arm that is respected but we we wanted to give them the correct information not to sell them a product i'm a research type of person right so i don't just sell these products i research them i ask people for their reviews i ask people um what do they think helped them in this situation what didn't help them and i try to sit down and 
compare stuff and put together different packages based on the, the reviews of my customers and that's how I am seeing the success within my business at this moment right now. You want to make sure that if you're purchasing herbs, you're not purchasing it in plastic. If it's sold in plastic, you just want to turn the other way. You don't even want it because the plastic is toxic. You want to make sure that when you're buying your products from wherever, whoever, are they, are, do they have the education behind it? Do they know what's in the product? Do they know what each and every ingredient in that product does for you, which is why they have put it in this product to sell you? That is what we have to focus on. I do support the push for important women to find natural remedies. I do support the push for this kind of widespread approach to other things that can be given in terms of therapy. But please, I'm asking, do this in conjunction with a doctor. Nobody's forcing information down your throat and saying it has to be like that, but we want you to know both sides. I would say Western um, and holistic, we can work together. Women, see your, see your doctor, get your pap smears done. Cervical cancer is something that's preventable, it's real. Get your breast exams done, and more importantly, ladies, take care of yourselves. This was very useful. I actually learned a few things. So comment below. Let us know if you have used any of these products or any products that we didn't mention here today. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts about holistic um, alternative to healthcare, reproductive healthcare? We're going to be tracking this story some more. We have more information for you. So subscribe and keep it locked. Bye. See you next time. Sonica, Darren,